Praise the Lord. Woo. Sounded good. You guys did a wonderful job. You could have kept playing there for a little bit. We've got talented musicians, don't we? We've got a wonderful guitar player, a drum player, and another harmonica player. We, uh, we're missing our our um, other harmonica player. I wonder if he couldn't make it tonight. He couldn't? All right, well, I'm glad that you made it, and I hope that you brought something to share uh, with the congregation tonight. Um, tonight we're going to have our singspiration. Um, it's always a wonderful time, and I'm probably going to sing a song or maybe two. I hadn't decided if I can get Rena to help me. We haven't practiced anything. Uh, we sang a few times about a week ago, but you think we can, what's that? <laughs> you did practice and we're not singing. Uh, but we hope that everything that's said and done will be pleasing in God's sight and um, will edify you and encourage you. Uh, that's what it's about. We're here for spiritual encouragement not necessarily to showcase our talents or show off or any of that thing, but it's to the glory of God and for his glory and for his uh, worship that we do these things. And if we ever get away from that, then I don't want to be a part of it. I, I don't, you know, I, I didn't come here to show you how well I can sing or observe how well that you can sing, but I came here to praise God, and that's what we want to do this evening. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Do you have any prayer requests? We remember all of our burdens from this morning. Um, the many ones. That Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for the beauty of your creation. We thank you, Lord, for the beautiful weather that you've given us today and for the wonderful time of fellowship and worship this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the inspiring songs. We thank you, Father, for your word and how, Lord, it penetrates into our hearts and to our minds. And we just thank you, thank you, Lord, for the faithfulness that you've shown to us throughout the years. And Lord, we look to you again because we do have so many burdens and so many concerns and cares, Father, in this life. You heard all the requests that went forth this morning. You can see each and every one. You know their circumstances. You know, Lord, each one that was listed in the bulletin. You know what they're going through, what their struggles are. And we just pray, Father, that you would move and have your way in each and every one of these circumstances, Father. Where there's healing needed, we pray that you would impart healing to their bodies and, and to their souls, Father. And where there's spiritual needs, we just pray that you would minister to them, Lord. That their minds would be stirred up. That they would recall, Lord, their need of salvation and their need of Jesus Christ. Lord, we know that that's the greatest need of, of all mankind is to know your son, Jesus Christ, because in him there is life, and there's no life anywhere else, Father, outside of him. So we ask, Father, that you would just stir the hearts and souls of those who are lost this evening, 
those who don't know you who have wandered away. We just pray that you would be merciful to them and give them another opportunity. Lord, we pray that you would bless this time of um, singing and, and rejoicing in you and rejoicing, Lord, in songs and praise to you. We just lift up these things with humble hearts and thanking you, Lord, and just giving you the glory for everything that you've done in our lives and for our congregation. So we pray, Father, that this, this service, this time of singing would be a blessing to you, and we want to bless you with it. And in Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen. I don't know how many, you may be seated. Do you have an approximate list of how many we have tonight? About a dozen. Do we have time for congregational song first? Or? Okay, yep, that's fine. You take care of the order. We'll give you a break about partway through and uh, sing a song. Uh, Golden Oldies, if you will go ahead and come forward. I have something here I'd like to read while you're coming. Golden Oldies, are you all up here? Is my mic on? Golden Oldies? I had a drug problem when I was a child and a teenager. I was drugged to church on Sunday morning. I was drugged to church on Sunday night. I was drugged to church on Wednesday night. I was drugged to Sunday school every week. And I was drugged to revival meetings. And then I was also drugged to what you call the woodshed when I disobeyed my parents. Those drugs are still in my veins, and they affect my behavior in everything I do, say, and think. They're stronger than cocaine, crack, or heroin. If more children had this drug problem, America would certainly be a better place. Golden oldies.
Dylan has a song tonight. I told her what he was singing. <laughs> Sister Nancy has a song. Just low. 
God, be my friend, give me strength, Lord, to overcome. I'll not go all alone, for by grace I'm thine own. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on, precious Lord. Okay, if you'll turn in your chorus book to page number 37, and while we're singing, Brother Bob Mortimer, if you'll come and get set up for your special while we sing this as a congregation, page number 37, I Feel Like Traveling On.
tell you. I've enjoyed the night already. Had a little fellow get up there. I tell you, we, you're nervous and everything in front of the people, and he did a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, I'm going to sing tonight, but it might be the last time, but after you hear me sing, you may not ever want to hear me sing again. <laughs> <laughs> The song I'm going to sing is, is no secret. And when I get to the chorus, if you guys, any, any of you know the, the secret part, it is no secret. You sing along with me. The times, the times, bring out the news. Another day is through. Someone sick and fell. Was sad. It is no secret what God can do, what he's done for others, he'll do for you. With a wide open, he'll pardon you. It is I was a kid uh, at the Edinburgh Church back in the 60s. We had a bunch of young group in our group of uh, kids, and it's about 20 to 27. And uh, we had our meeting in, an hour before church every night. And the kids had a had a song that they, uh, of course, they always like, and I always like to. I'm gonna sing that too. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Oh, do Lord, oh, do remember me way beyond the blue. I got a home in glory land and I'll shine the sun. I got a home in glory land and I'll shine the sun. I got a home in glory land and I'll shine the sun way beyond the blue. Do Lord, oh, do Lord, oh, do remember me. Do Lord, oh, do Lord. I got a home in glory land and I'll turn to sun. 
I got home in glory when up shines the sun way beyond the blue. To Lord, oh, to Lord, oh, to remember me. To Lord, oh, to Lord, oh, to remember me. To Lord, oh, to Lord, oh, to remember me. Way came in tonight and saw that guitar case sitting in front of him as he sat out there. He said, I'm waiting for Pastor to come in and tune my guitar. I said, you play guitar? He said, yeah, but this isn't the one I like. I got another one that strings broke on. I said, you've got two guitars? And this is the first time we ever knew you could play or sing? <laughs> Thank you, Brother Bob. Sister Mary Pellman, come right ahead. Jesus, my Lord, will love me forever. From him no evil, sin I can sever. He gave his life to ransom my soul. Now I belong to thee. Now I belong to Jesus. Jesus belongs. my soul for Jesus has saved me, freed me from sin that long had enslaved me, his precious blood he gave to redeem, now I belong to him, now I belong to Jesus, Jesus belongs to Singing has always been the joy of my heart. And I always uh, prayed for a few years that the Lord would allow me to keep singing till I was at least 80. Well, now I'm 84, and my voice is not as good as it used to be, and I don't breathe as well as I used to. But praise the Lord, I can still praise him, Amen. and I love him. Thank you. I was told that Mariah has a song. Ron and Sharon, you'll be after her.
sun for bed to shine. But God will hold me here below. Be forever mine. Be forever mine. You are forever mine. Thank you, Mariah. Beautiful. There will be a mother-daughter's trio after Ron and Sharon. That was not fair to put us on after Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, do appreciate Brother Dave willing to put on a Michigan State hat. <laughs> this afternoon there was a very interesting game. Michigan State beat a very good Virginia team. <laughs> but I thought that you might like to wear that tonight before I take it home. About, about um, five years ago, we went to Bluegate Theater with my Uncle Gene and Aunt Leona the uncle that we just lost. And uh, it was a, uh, one of their breakfast series, and they had uh, a group there. And as we listened to their um, music that day, uh, there was one that uh, struck us, and um, we, we ended up, we got the, the um, whatever you call it, Debbie, the soundtrack, and uh, uh, we struggled with that. And we carried that in the vehicle and we would try to, um, she could do it, but I couldn't. And we have, <laughs> that's all right. I can do a couple things, right? <laughs> um, but we struggled with that. Um, oh, a couple times a year we would pull it out and, and it just wouldn't work. And uh, so today, why Sharon said, um, what do you think about Father's house? And we pulled it out, and uh, um, it worked better than it has in the past. Uh, we want you to listen to the words to it. I think that it, it fits right now, Father's house.
<laughs> Amen. It's wonderful be, to be in Father's house. And as Sister Ann was rejoicing in the Lord and rejoicing in that truth and in that moment, the scripture came to my mind. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, <coughs> but fellow citizens with the saints and with the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of apostles and prophets, 
Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. Saints of God, we are put together, we are knitted together, we are built together by the Spirit of God to be the habitation, the dwelling place of His Spirit. Amen. That's what the messages have been about in the last three or four weeks, whatever it took me to preach the messages that I brought to you. It's about being the dwelling place of God. I want the presence of God to feel this place and for people to feel the conviction of His Holy Spirit when they walk in here. And that can only happen when we're all fitly framed together and become the habitation of God. When I've got His Spirit and you've got His Spirit, they're going to agree with one another and there's going to be a glorious outpouring of God's Spirit. And I celebrate that this evening. I'm thankful for it. Thank you for the song. It was truly beautiful. I'll leave that alone. (laughs) Thank you, brother. Do we need an introduction? (laughs) These are my kids. There you go. We're floating down the stream of time We have not long to stay The stormy clouds of darkness Will turn to brightest day Then let us all take courage, for we're not left alone. The lifeboat soon is coming to gather the jewels home. Then cheer, my brothers and sisters, our trials will soon be o'er. Our loved ones we shall meet, shall meet upon the golden shore. We're pilgrims and we're strangers here, we're seeking a city to come. The lifeboat soon is coming to gather the jewels home. The lifeboat soon is coming by the eye of faith I see. As she sweeps through the waters to rescue you and me. And land us safely in the port with friends we love so dear. Get ready, cries the captain, oh look, she's almost here. Then cheer, my brothers and sisters, our trials will soon be o'er. Our loved ones we shall meet, shall meet upon the golden shore. We're pilgrims and we're strangers here. We're seeking a city to come. The lifeboat soon is coming to gather the jewels home. Now is the time to get on board while she is passing by. But if you stand and wait too long, you shall forever die. The fare is paid for one and all, the captain bids you come. And get on board the lifeboat, she'll carry you safely home. Then cheer, my brothers and sisters, our trials will soon be o'er. Our loved ones we shall meet, shall meet upon the golden shore. We're pilgrims and we're strangers here, we're seeking a city to come. The lifeboat soon is coming to gather the jewels home. The lifeboat soon is coming to gather the jewels home.
our trials will soon be o'er. Something to look forward to. But we're going to be in Father's house until then. <laughs> Brother Kim, come right ahead. You guys awake out there? You happy to praise the Lord tonight? Praise God. Want some beautiful music. Ron Sharon, that was beautiful. What gives me the little guy up here just comes right up here and starts singing. That's awesome, isn't it? Just walk right up here singing to the Lord. Don't make a difference if you got a good voice, bad voice. We're, praise, we're singing to God, right? Amen. We're praising the Lord. And we're having fun doing it. Amen. Don't be sad, be happy. Get that smile on your face. I'm going to sing Long Black Train. Uh, Josh Turner. Try anyway. That's not me. Take a nap. No, I say. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. different songs too. Smile. Praise God. I think so. Store bought him. That's all. It's all insurance for that thing today. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, I heard Branson just like skipped on mine. I thought, wait a minute, that's a new. No, I don't buy. When I was by the sea. Well, yeah, I can skip it. Which one? <laughs> I can hear it. Just gonna turn it on. Yeah. We're hiring two. <laughs> we need two booth guys. Two, two booth guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. Shane, get back up here. Shut up. He's just joking. He likes to be part of me. Okay, I'm going to try to do the other song. <laughs> we should all smile at this. Thing. I thought he'd be throwing tomatoes at me. Get him off the stage. Get that redneck off the stage. Off the soul that are lost and crying, rails of sin, only evil remains. Watch out, brother, for that long black train. You can look to the heaven, you can look to the sky, you can find redemption staring back into. There is protection and there's peace the same Burn in your ticket for that long black train Cause there's victory in the Lord I say Victory in the Lord Cling to the Father in His holy name and don't go riding on that long black train. There's an engineer on that long black train making you wonder if the ride is worth the pain. He just waiting on your heart to say, let me ride on yeah, cause there's victory in the Lord, I say, victory in the Lord, cling to the Father in His holy name, and don't go riding on that long Get up in two steps. Woo. There's an engineer on that long black train, making you wonder if the ride is worth the pain. He just waiting on your heart to say, let me ride on that long black train. Cause there's victory in the Lord, I say, victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father in his holy name. in that long black train. Amen. Thank you, Kim and Shane. That was very entertaining, the first part of it before he started singing. Sometimes I don't know if Brother Terry does things on purpose. <laughs> yeah. 
You never know about Brother Terry. <laughs> okay, Pastor David, you're next. And then I know of Peggy and the youth. Are there any, is there anything else besides those? Okay, Peg, you'll be after him. I couldn't decide what to sing tonight. Um, I've got a number of songs picked out. Um, which ones do you want to hear? <laughs> Me and Rena, okay. We'll definitely do me and Rena, um, and I'm going to do at least one other. Um, I don't know. I love to sing, and I have a hard time making up my mind which songs to sing. Um, but this one is an old song. It's not in any of our hymnals, um, but it is a, a beautiful song, and I would like to try to sing it. I feel constrained to say. Anybody know that one? I see a few smattering of hands. How I came to love these pilgrims is to me a great surprise. And the way the Lord has led me is a wonder in my eyes. Oh, I said I'd never be one, but I'm happy now to say that although I used to hate them, I'm one of them today. I feel constrained to say that I love this narrow way. Oh, glory, hallelujah, I'm one of them today. Well, I knew the world despised them, so I said, twill never do. I will lose my reputation if I join that noisy crew. But then I heard the tones of thunder, you must surely go their way. It's settled, hallelujah, I'm one of them today. Oh, I feel constrained to say that I love this narrow way. Oh, glory, hallelujah, I'm one of them today. I'm so glad that I have joined them, for they've led me to the right. And I'm going to stay among them, ever walking in the light. And someday I'll join that number over on the other shore. It's finished, hallelujah, I'm a pilgrim nevermore. Oh, I feel constrained to say that I love this narrow way. Oh, glory, hallelujah, I'm one of them today. Oh, I feel constrained to say that I love this narrow way. Oh, glory, hallelujah, I'm one of them today. Amen. All right, totally switching gears now. That's not mine. Did I leave music down there on the seat underneath the sweatshirt? Yes? Oh, thank you. Can you stand to listen to me at least one more time? And then I'll add Rena to the mix. The name of this song is Peter, Do You Love Me? And I was going through some music on iTunes because somebody gave me $10 to spend on iTunes and I found this song and it's the first time I'd ever heard it. So I downloaded it and have really enjoyed it. It has been a real encouragement to my heart and it starts with the chorus. Peter, do you love me? Go and feed my sheep. 
Peter, do you love me? Take care of the weak. Peter, do you love me? Stand up and be strong. Now I have to go away, but I'll not leave you alone. When they took the Lord from the garden, Peter followed them. Someone recognized him and said, there's one of them. Peter, he denied him three times in a row. But his heart was broken when he heard the old cock crow. Peter, do you love me? Go and feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? Take care of the weak. Peter, do you love me? Stand up and be strong. Now I have to go away, but I'll not leave you alone. And on the day of Pentecost, the Comforter arrived. He came in like a rushing wind with cloven tongues of fire. Peter stood up and began to preach to them the holy word. And after 3,000 souls were saved, these words you might have heard. Peter, do you love me? Go and feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? Take care of the weak. Peter, do you love me? Stand up and be strong. And now I have to go away, but I'll not leave you alone. Well, Peter grew stronger in the faith and preached throughout the land. He walked and talked and prayed to God, obeying his command. And then they crucified him, they nailed him upside down. And these words you might have heard as the hammer rang out loud. Lord, you know I love you, I tried to feed your sheep. Lord, you know I loved you, I took care of the weak. Lord, you know I love you, I've tried to be so strong. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Now I'm ready to go home. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Got a little emotional on the last chorus. But it's a beautiful song. Um, it's a legend of some sorts. There's no evidence that Peter was crucified upside down. But we know that he lost his life for Christ's sake. And we know... That although he was, uh, he was a bold, he was a forceful man, some people would have looked at him and said he was a braggart. You know what? He loved God with all his heart, and he made a big mistake. He claimed, Lord, I'll never forsake you. I'll never leave you. But God didn't just throw him in the dustpan. He didn't throw him in the junkyard and said, you can't be used anymore. You failed me. No, he used Peter, Peter in a mighty, mighty way. And um, I truly believe that the songwriter um, probably struck on something there with that last chorus. I can't imagine what Peter did say when he was crucified, but that very well could have been what he said. And I'm going to try to sing it again so that you can hear it the way it's supposed to be. Um, we will try just the third verse in the chorus again. Well, Peter grew stronger in the faith and preached throughout the land. He walked and talked and prayed to God, obeying his command. And then they crucified him, they nailed him upside down. And these words you might have heard as the hanger, hammer rang out loud. Lord, you know I love you. I've tried to feed your sheep. Lord, you know I love you. I took care of the weak. Lord, you know I love you. I've tried to be so strong. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Now I'm ready to go home.
We haven't practiced this song since um, the night Sister Ann and Wayne came over. Uh, we sang it for them, but we will try it again this evening, and I've got the wrong pick. You're going to need a microphone. And I've sang this song before, it's um, Thank You for the Roses. Um, each one of you are a rose in my life. You are a personality, you're a person that God has placed along my path for a reason. And each one of you are unique. Each one of you has a different pattern, a different uh, way of looking at things, and each one of you are precious to me and to our Savior. Hope you enjoy the song. Hold on just one second. For all the pretty sunsets and each peaceful stream, for every little songbird. You sent my way to sing, and in my barren desert, where nothing else grows, even in the valley, you still give me a rose. You still give me a rose. Lord, thank you for the roses you've placed in my life. For that old-fashioned preacher who carried the light. For peace and contentment in a world so filled with strife. Lord, thank you for the roses you've placed in my life. You've placed in my life. For the freshness of the morning and the cool of the day. For that place in my memory that you washed my sins away. And for your precious Holy Spirit that I feel down in my soul. Lord, that means more to me than every other road. Than every other rose. Lord, thank you for the roses you've placed in my life. For that old fashioned preacher who carried the light. For peace and contentment. In a world so filled with strife, Lord, thank you for the roses you placed in my life. You've placed in my life. Lord, thank you for the roses.
the kids are passing something out to you guys that goes along with something I'm going to read. Is this yes, it's something very serious. It is serious. It's thought-provoking. Hopefully we have enough to go around. You ought to come on down to my church, Colder Chapel, because they got music. And like I say, this is probably 35, 40 years ago. And I th and you guys still got it. <laughs> After all these years, you guys have still got it. I'm proud of you. Well, her name is Vera Glaze, as you all know, Vera, from many years gone by. But I'm very thankful that she invited me down because I've probably been passing this place again without knowing you have good music. If we've got just a minute, these batteries are going to run out on you. You got some batteries for this? Hey, can we eat that now? <laughs> They're still good. All right, we're back in business. The parable of the popcorn. And you could eat the popcorn if you'd like, but I'm sure Brother Richard would appreciate it if you didn't leave kernels all over the floor. Behold, at the time of harvest, the ears of corn did bring forth kernels which were dried and prepared for the popper's hand. And then it was that the popper did take the kernels, all of which appeared alike unto him, and did apply the oil and heat. And it came to pass that when the heat was on, some did explode with promise and did magnify themselves an hundredfold. And some did burst forth with whiteness, which did both gladden the eye and satisfy the taste of the popper. And likewise, some others did pop, but not too much. But lo, there were some that did just lie there, and even though the popper's heat was alike unto all, they did bask in the warmth of the oil and kept everything for themselves. And so it came to pass that those which had given themselves and did bring joy and delight to many munchers, but those which kept the warmth and did not burst forth were fit only to be cast out into the pail and were thought of with hardness and disgust. And thus we see that in the beginning all appear alike, but when the heat is on, some come forth and bring all and give their all, while others fail to pop and become as chaff, to be discarded and forgotten. And you can apply that spiritually.
Welcome to McJesus. May I take your order, please? Yeah, I'm not sure what you call it, but I want the Jesus that gives me everything I ask for. You know, answers all my prayers immediately. And I've got a pretty long list, so you better make it with the works. I'm sorry. We're all out of the sugar daddy Jesus today. Oh, well, I guess I'll settle for the Jesus that won't ever let anything really bad happen to me. You see, I don't like pain, because pain hurts me. Oh, you want the warm, fuzzy Jesus? Yeah, with extra mushy-gushy love. Give me a warm fuzzy, extra sweet. Welcome to McJesus. May I take your order, please? I'd like the condemning Jesus number five. Will that be with or without mercy? Hold the mercy. Will you have any lightning bolts with that? Yeah, extra lightning bolts. Wow, you must have a lot of enemies. Well, I'd like to think that I'm just cleaning up the world a bit. You know, getting rid of the prostitutes, drug addicts, homosexuals, my boss. Oh, I see. Kind of a selective early judgment day. Yeah, and someone who will let me hate these people without feeling guilty. You're in luck. We're running a special today on the Terminator Jesus. Righteous. Is there anything else? I'll be back. Next! I would like to buy $3 worth of Jesus, please. Not enough to make me a fanatic or drastically alter my lifestyle, but just enough to make me feel comfortable. I don't want enough of him to make me love someone with AIDS or become a missionary or anything. Just give me a pound of the supernatural in a paper sack. Anything else? That's all. Give me a number seven. Welcome to McJesus. May I take your order, please? Yes, I'd like the real Jesus, please. Will that be the real Jesus number one, two, or three? How can there be more than one real Jesus? This is McJesus, where you can have any kind of Jesus you want. Come on, have it your way. I don't want him my way. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. I want the one true Jesus, the one in the Bible. Oh, the Bible. Why didn't you say that before? You need to go to our McBible location on Southside. McBible? Yeah, McBible. They have 33 different varieties of the good book to choose from, with or without miracles. No prophecy, extra prophecy. Cut and paste version, you name it. No thanks, I'll stick with the Bible I've got. Suit yourself. Next! That's truly the way a lot of people um, look at salvation and look at spiritual life. They want the Jesus that they want. They want a menu of Jesus. And they will um, they'll move around and they'll find a menu that will suit them. Um, but there is but one Jesus. There is but one word. The word of God. And we endeavor in this place to hold true to it as much as... Can we, as lies within me and within this congregation, we want to be faithful to his word and faithful to him. I hope you have enjoyed yourself tonight. Um, hope you got some laughs. Hope you heard some good music. Um, hope you didn't get offended. Anybody get offended? Good. I didn't see any hands raised. Oh, Gerald got offended? We'll have to, we'll have to remember Brother Gerald in prayer. He's very sensitive, you know. <laughs> uh, but thank you to everyone who brought something to share. And um, this is just a, a wonderful time of fellowship and singing and just enjoying one another's company and God's company. Um, truly, the presence of God has visited us this evening through song and through his children. Um, youth group, thank you for the wonderful skit. And I believe they deserve a round of applause. All right, let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you, Lord, for the myriad of talents that you have placed among us. We thank you, Father, for the youngest all the way to the oldest from everyone, Lord, who brought a different perspective, a different style of music, a different thought. And Father, we just thank you that you can work through all of us to edify each and every one of us. And Father, speak to our hearts and to our souls. 
So we're so thankful for that. We ask that you would go with us this evening, that you would bless each and every one of us here with a safe trip home. And then, Father, walk with us throughout this week. Lead us, guide us, direct us. Help us, Lord, to see with your eyes. Help us, Father, to speak with your mouth. And help us, Lord, to just minister to hearts and souls around us in this lost and dying world. For your glory and for your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray.